How is social media affecting your interpersonal relationships as an adult? Is it causing mistrust, miscommunication, loneliness or isolation? Is an addiction being formed or is it affecting your family's finances? Because those things are byproducts of social media use, which can unconsciously or consciously lead to the demise of your relationship with your friends, family, or even your romantic partners. Which brings me to my first guest, Jarrell who believes his ex, Nolan's obsession, and obsession's a strong word, with posting their relationship on social media is the reason behind their breakup. Everyone, help me welcome Jarrell. Hey. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? How are you? Me too. Me too. It's a pleasure. Take a seat, yes. Hi, guys. All right, so when did you meet Nolan? Tell me about y'all's relationship. Uh, me and Nolan met 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. We uh, met in the underground ballroom scene, the yes. house ballroom scene, mm -hmm. and we both were in the same house of Garcon. Um, and I always saw him and I said, this was a beautiful kid. I thought he was so beautiful. And so my, I, my whole thing was, let me get to know this guy. Uh -huh. So I chased him around for some time. I was mm -hmm. like, let's have dinner, let's have a date, let's go out, let's do something. He yeah. would always curve me. He would, leave out of town, do whatever he wanted to do, and then come back and say, let's have dinner. And then when I pick up the phone for, hey, reservations are made, he's like, I flew out of town. Ah. So, so that was the whole idea of you making me want you and chase you. And so 12 years, we were friends. And then finally, three years ago, I said, listen, I'm in Boston. This is your hometown. Let's make this happen. Good. OK, let's you finally got happen. it. So mm -hmm. y'all finally ended up together. And then you started to post your relationship on social media, on TikTok. Yeah. Who's, whose decision was that? Well, we started with Instagram. Okay. I think it was a mutual decision, like, we're having fun, we look cute together, let's go ahead and post our relationship on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I think I was the one that created the account, and it was fun at first. We started just putting up our daily lives, having a good time, putting up when we were traveling, pictures of us in the house having a good time. And over time, I didn't realize how social media, how big it is. I'm a guy that likes to kind of stay at home and chill out a little bit. I didn't realize it was going to impact our relationship the way it did, and it was going to build the way it did. The okay. followers started building. The people started messaging us and telling us, hey, what's going on? We want you to do this thing and do this thing. And then it became a business. Mm. And once it became a business, I was like, we don't have time for our relationship no more. Mm. Because it's always, we got to post this up for this and that. Work, work, you know work. I mean? So it went from fun to being something that now it's like, we have to do. We have to do okay. it. And when Nolan discovered TikTok, man, forget about it. Once TikTok came into the picture, it was over. It was yeah. over. That was it. That's when we just started to like blow up and have a good time. <laughs> and he. <laughs> Y'all think yeah, it's really Let me tell you about something. I tried to do really these, like outfit change videos. <laughs> That's about three hours of work right there. I was over it. It's I, hard. Every time you got to change outfits, get real cute again, come back, all that posing, that's two hours right there. That, it was like a whole day, actually, like maybe about five hours. And we were just going through outfits and doing different takes and different takes. Yeah. And that was when we blew up on TikTok. Oh, OK, then. That video catapulted us. And we just got, the numbers just started rising. And that's when the, it became work. For that's me. when it became work for me, okay. you know? So you said that Nolan is a lot. <laughs> a lot. What does that mean? Nolan's very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, his feminine energy is through the roof. He mm -hmm. has an intense feminine energy. Yes. And sometimes if you're not ready for that, it could be a lot to handle. And I'm like, Nolan, I don't know who I am. If I wanted all of this, I could have like stayed with a woman, right? That's what oh. I told him at one point. Yes, because I, I mean, I said that. And that's the wrong thing you want to say to your lover, of course, right? Listen, and I like a man who can acknowledge Yeah, that. I acknowledge that I can be emotionally unavailable and say the wrong things that mm. can hurt my lover. Good. That's part of the reason why things started to kind of end up the way they ended up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because when you're not emotionally available, it's difficult for me. He's out doing So whatever. did you break up? I broke up with him okay. two months ago. See, what happened was... So, uh, don't see what, my face. see what happened was? See what happened was... See what happened was, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. We broke, we broke, I broke up with him. Uh -huh. But I broke up with him through, through me being, saying the wrong things and doing the wrong things and making him feel like he was lesser than as a human being. Okay. Yes. My mouth does get me in a lot of trouble a lot of times, okay. which is why I'm composing myself at this moment. <laughs> okay? um, and... I say, we don't need to be together. It seems like it's just dangerous for where we are right now. I don't know where we're going to go from here, but we can't be together. I think you'll be better alone. I like that. And he had to come pick up his things because he left his things at my house. Yes. He came and got his things, and that was the moment, you know, we met. I saw him. I missed him. I kissed him. And uh, we had some really great intimate sexual moments. That sounds like an R&B song. I saw him. I missed him. I kissed him. <laughs> All right. Do you want to be with no one again? 
I do. I okay. think it's a possibility that we can make this happen. For All real. Right. Well, listen, I'm ready to meet Nolan. I want to ask you a question because I'm really excited to meet you. I love your energy. I love everything <laughs> that you are giving right Thank now. You. Why did you want to start a joint TikTok page? Well, TikTok actually started for us because, have you heard of the dating app Jacked? Yes. Jacked is a gay dating app and they wanted us to be brand ambassadors for them. So they're like, hey, can you guys make a TikTok for us? We made that video. The first video that we made went semi-viral, 400,000 plus views. It got us 8,000 followers. Wow. So I'm biased now because yeah. my, my experience is not the normal TikTok experience. Yeah. But from what I found on TikTok was a creative community that I didn't realize I was longing for. How much have y'all made off of TikTok so far? Um, I'm nosy, I'm getting it, 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 On a good month, it could be a little bit upwards. On, on, on a like slow 15, month. Like 15 to like 20,000. Um, to start. Um, wow. I can yeah. understand why this is a job for you now. Because I think that's good for context to understand. Yeah. Like, if you're making thousands of dollars yeah. hosting, I can understand why this is going to be something that you're diligent about. So do you ever feel, Nolan, that TikTok has become a problem in your relationship? It definitely has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in what ways? In, in, in a way that, like... I love doing the content. I could do it every day. I can create. And we saw the walkout. And it, 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 it doesn't feel like work. It yeah. feels like I'm showing up and I'm, I'm showing up to what I love and I get to be myself. And like, who doesn't want to get, to, get paid to be to themselves? Um, I think where things got tricky is that like we had brand deals, we had contracts, and we had to schedule shoots. And like, he doesn't want to do it. And then it's like, we have all this great stuff coming to us and you're showing up like this. Like, it just became a, it, became, it did become an issue. But do you also think that that, like, putting so much emphasis on that, you didn't have time to work on our relationship. So I'm showing up upset and angry because you, all your, your time is dedicated to your friends, TikTok, Instagram, your fam, like everybody else except for me. And when I want to have a conversation like we're trying to have right now, I got to wait until all of that's done. What do you think about when he says that? I think that he's, he's extremely charming and he knows how to sell a wow. narrative. I think that like, what, 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 you, what you, no, because there's, there's been plenty of times where we've, I've had a conversation with you like, we can be in a relationship and not do the content. But then, you know, a TV show, they would offer, like we've been offered like to be leads of a TV series and other mm -hmm. things too. It's not just social media content. Like he would put one foot in and one foot out. And one but foot I out. showed up for a lot of those experiences. I showed up for a lot of social media. So let's go back. What happened on the Valentine's Day shoot? Okay, so Jack booked us to shoot a Valentine's Day concept, a video and some photography. And we were on set. Was this the Valentine's Day? Yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. Okay. We see y'all. <laughs> Towards the, the shoe, this is also the issue. Jarrell has wine. So he starts drinking, and once he starts drinking, his mouth gets a little. Since then, I've let go of wine. See, his mouth gets a little out there, right? Mm -hmm. So on set, he starts playing with my stomach as if I'm pregnant, right? Then he says, Nolan, you are shaped like a whale. <laughs> did you actually say those things? Might have actually said those things. You might have, or you did. I might have actually said those things. A lot of times when, I mean. You don't I like mean, to commit. What do you yes mean? or no? Did you I say those I things? I might have actually said those things. You I'm gonna stick to that because you know sometimes. I, so, no, because he's telling me when he says I made I made that comment about him like being well, shaped like a whale. I honestly don't remember it. I remember it. There were times that I did come for for your weight in some in some ways because I mean you at the same time were coming for your weight. So I'm like my thing is tough love is my thing, right? Like. I'm telling you, I know, it's a bad thing. But tell no, Flubby, like, it, listen, you worried about your weight, then lose the weight. Karama, like, so I come out here and, like, I'm, I'm the girl, right? But <laughs> a lot of people don't like me, right? So I'm like, babe, I gotta, I, there's people who want to see me fail. Like, they don't want to see me, like, so I don't want to have to come home and battle you, too. Mm. It takes a lot to show up as my authentic self in this world, as a black gay man who's feminine, who's different, who's out there, out the box. And I want to come home to a partner who supports that, you know, not come home to someone who's, who wants to battle me. I understand. So I want to know because y'all remind me of friends I've had. Have y'all physically ever been um, fought? So that 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 shoot was the first time. So after the shoot was over, he I said, "Babe, listen, you 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 call me fat. You do this all the time. It's fine. Like, and it's not fine. But I said that you know it's fine. But can you not do it in front of other people? When we're on set in front of the people, that I, the creative directors, the photographer, can you just not do it in front of other people?" And he said, you know, y'all being too sensitive, y'all being too sensitive. And he said, you know what, Nolan? I said, all I'm asking for is respect. He said, I'm not gonna respect you, you're weak. You're dragging it, you're dragging so it. So I got up, I punched <laughs> him in the face, and that was the first time we fought. Coming up, Nolan, do you want to get back to brother with Jarrell? Um, do you want the honest answer? Yes. I met somebody. <laughs> Have y'all physically ever fought? I said, all I'm asking for is respect. He said, I'm not gonna respect you, you're weak. So I got up, I punched <laughs> him in the face, and that was the first time we fought. 
I know I've said and done things that have hurt, that has hurt this man. I know that. There are some things that I said that I hit below the belt when I get angry, upset, or when I feel like... Why do you think you do that, though? Because I don't believe violence should ever be the key. Absolutely. Ever, ever, ever. And when I was younger, I didn't understand that because I had witnessed violence before, so I thought that was okay. And I was a young gay man that thought like, oh, this could be something we could do because this is how we are informed as young black men sometimes, that violence could be okay, but it's not. It's and domestic violence between gay couples is something that's prevalent that people don't talk about enough. You know, I learned, Karamo, about domestic violence, though. Just because abuse isn't physical doesn't mean it's not abusive. Exactly. And, I, and then so, yeah, so yes. what, what I learned in that moment was that I've been sitting in an abusive relationship, or ab yes. there's been abusive natures, to, uh, abusive aspects to our relationship. And I didn't realize that, like, you putting me down all the time, or you, like, there's also other forms of abuse. And I've just been sitting there and taking it and just holding it all in. So why were you doing that? Why do you think that behavior was okay? I mean, because I think it's important for people to deal with their issues the way they need to deal with their Why issues. Why do you think you have to be the one to tell them what to deal with? Because if you keep talking to me or telling me about it or asking me about it or, or verbalizing it around me, then that gives me license to say something. The only reason I'm saying this to you is because sometimes when people are venting about what they're going through, it's because they trust you. And what you're doing is you're manipulating that trust by then hurting them. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say hit here and call you the bad guy or whatever, because clearly that behavior has come from somewhere else for you. I don't know where that behavior has come from, but something within you is making you feel as if you think that you can be emboldened by telling somebody what they did. And I would just challenge you to say, check that behavior. Because the thing is that you're a lovable person. You have a good heart in you. I can see it all over you. You fun, mm -hmm. you sexy, it's all there. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you feel emboldened and feel like, oh, because you tell me what's wrong with you, I get to tell you right back. That's not okay. That's not mm -hmm. a friend, that's not a family member. And you're better than that. Mm -hmm. You are better that. than that. I receive that. And you have to really check that stuff because right now what you're doing is you're saying, oh yeah, well you told me that you fat, so I'm gonna tell you you fat back. Just because somebody's <laughs> expressing their insecurity doesn't give me a right to build on that insecurity. I understand that. I respect that. I respect that. Totally. I, I want to know, I, and I appreciate it. I can tell you're going to receive it, but it's just something you got to work yeah. out. So, Jarrell, I want to know this. Do you want to get back together with Nolan? I want to get back together with Nolan. Um, like I said, but I don't think Nolan wants to get back together with me. Nolan, do you want to get back together with Jarrell? Um, do you want the honest answer? Yes. Um, I met somebody. I know. <laughs> Did you know that? No. That's okay. Mm. I've been blown away by the experience that we've been having. It's, it's been a contrast to the experience that I've been having with you. And I thought, like, my eyes have just been open in a different way lately. If we were to get back in a relationship, what would be different? I guess I would listen more, pay attention more, try to be more understanding, take into account your feelings more. But I even think taking into account your feelings more as a friend. Right. What about the verbal abuse? Because you even just did it right here again. You, every time you say he's a lot, that's still it verbal is. abuse. He's a lot because he's not what I'm uh, used to. Uh, I, uh, okay, uh, so so they, it's the butt. Is the butt that's what this like? He's it's just not what I'm used to. So then if he's not, I, and what he's is, different. So hold on, for me, but I'm different. Come to terms so you, with that. what happens is every time you have to say you have to come to terms mm -hmm. with somebody, doesn't mean you really want them. You are forcing yeah. something that in your heart you don't really want. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I do believe that you want to do the work on yourself, and I do believe that you'll find somebody that you'll be happy with. I yeah. don't believe this is the this man. Is and the thing is, is that as sad as I am, because y'all pictures were cute, I wanted to scroll this page. I was about to, I was about to kick life. <laughs> we're going to log off like this I social do. media page. Logged <laughs> off. All right, listen, stay with us after this. We'll be more when we come back. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.